Several months ago, I made a video. And also, uh, good evening, Liz boys, welcome back to my channel. But, um, that's not what's important. A couple months ago, I made a video called Lizzie Goes Bonkers. It was one that went relatively under the radar. Didn't get, like, a massive amount of views or anything. But, in that video, <sighs> I'm so excited. In that video, I was talking about a doll that I wanted, a pull-up doll, and if you guys have been with my channel for a long time, you know, I used to be super into those, as well as the anime Rose and Maiden, and basically Kiraki Show was my favorite character. Um, Kiraki Show? Kira Kisho. Yeah, that's how you say her name. Kiraki Show was my number one favorite character, and she had a doll in the pull-up release from 2006 that was limited to a thousand worldwide. I found one for a decent price. She was pretty fucked up, needed a new body, but that's where my best friend came in. Well, she finally fixed the doll, her sister finally sent it to me, and now it is time to welcome this doll into my collection officially. You wanna focus? Does my camera wanna focus? Thank you. You wanna make a video? What? Why am I here? You wanna make a video? Okay. Good. Why am I here? So do you want me to like record it? Do you want me to like record it? I mean, record what? Like, do you want me to like show you what I'm doing? Oh, uh, I mean, sure. Okay. Cause then you can properly commentate in this video as well. Okay. Okay, so here's the box. What? Here's what we're looking at right now. You see my camera? <laughs> you can see my yeah, camera. Yeah. Nice camera. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I have no idea how you're gonna sound in this video. Yeah, me either. Probably gonna sound like. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna sound all fucked up and deranged. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. The audio quality is gonna be shit, you know. Yeah, it's gonna be terrible. Yeah. So uh. Shit. No way, Nick get one. Jeez, get those out. <laughs> I have naked dolls. Because I don't know what to do with them. They're naked. I, just, I don't have clothes. Yeah, you have, like, a fucking closet full of, like, doll clothes or whatever? Well, yeah, but it's, like, Rainbow High clothes. They don't fit in that. They don't fit I in Rainbow High too. clothes. <laughs> what do you do? It's not gonna work. <laughs> it's not gonna work. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start opening her. Okay, her legs are free. Um, Good job. Thank you. You did it. Thank you. Um, just cut the tape of, like, the bubble wrap and, like, unwrap it. Yeah, that'd probably be better than what I'm doing. I'm trying to, like, use scissors and, like, be what? careful. But I'm probably gonna screw everything up. It's got all these yeah. little things. Yeah, like you always do. So come on now. Shut up. I need to... Oh, God, you're right. Her hair does feel like shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, do you think I could, like, wash this with, like, shampoo and conditioner? Do you think that would help? I don't know. I'm not, like, a doll... 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 <laughs> I forgot the word hair for a moment. <laughs> you forgot the word hair? I just said it. Yeah. Shut up. And you say but I'm the dumb one. Maybe. You say I'm the dumb one. You fucking dumb, stupid, You're dumb. A You're a moron. You're a moron. You're a moron. You. You're a moron. You. What did you say about her again? Her eyelids don't work? Yeah, because, like, the mechanism just does not fit into the head. Like, it, it moves fine, like, when you... Okay, how do I explain this? There's two parts. No, there's three parts of the head. Mm -hmm. Like, the type three head. Yeah. There's like the face plate and the back of the head. Like with everything like head. put together without the back of the head, it like it works fine. But like you have to like mush the back of the head in there. Uh, oh so it yeah. Just, like, it just squishes everything in there. It just does not work. So she had to be given a type four eye mechanism because her type three one yeah. was missing. And Straight up gone. Yeah, it was just not there. She was the one that fixed her for me, so she knows that just wasn't there. <laughs> girl had one fucking eyelid for some reason? She had one eyelid left, like one original eyelid. Which one was it, the yeah, right or left? Uh, yeah, the type 3 eyelid is just like significantly smaller than the type 4 eyelid. I'm gonna guess so it's the one on the right side. I, I think so, I don't know, I don't fucking The one that's it. hanging down, I feel like that might be the one that's the type, um, other one. Right. Type 4. Yeah, because once again, um, again, basically... The eyelids, like, inside of the faceplate, 
there's like this little like hinge mm-hmm. i'd say i don't know there's hinge where like the eyelids like sit in place and like they have the other side of like the peg and you put it in there and it fits all snug the tight four eyelid is way too long for that <laughs> so you just kind of have to mush it in there once again it looks good plus her bangs will like cover it up anyway this is the eye that needs her eye patch anyway let me did I show you the weird shit that's in this box, like, other than, like, her eye patch? No. So there's her really eye patch? I never saw it. Oh, yeah, it was in New York with your sister. But there's the eye patch, and then over here is just, like, all the little ties that she came with for some reason. They just gave Very me a bag important. of all yeah. of the ties. <laughs> I don't know Very why they gave important. me that. <laughs> um, her card is also... Yeah, and then her, um, her card's over there. Do you see it? Yeah, and the plastic is, like... Yellow is piss. Yeah, it's, like, very yellow. It's, like, gross-looking almost. I hope you guys enjoyed that segment with my best friend, Camilla. Um, if you didn't read the subtitles for some reason, she's the one that repaired this karaki show for me. Uh, she had to go shower because she's a little pee piss boy and she had to go clean herself off. Um, don't take that in a weird way. She and I are just, like, really jokey with each other. Her hair actually brushed pretty well. Um, there is a weird Velcro material attaching the wig to her head, because this doll was a failed customization project by the original owner. That's why she only had one eye, that's why her body was broken. You can see that she still has this one hand here. And, um, this one, this is her eye patch, but the original, um, on both sides there's supposed to be a ribbon that is long enough to tie around her head. I'm gonna have to find a really long ribbon to replace the original one with. She's supposed to look like this. Mine still looks pretty good. I think the outfit's just like slightly yellow from age. And she did have to have replacement eyes put in. Neither of her eyes were original. Uh, that's where Camilla came in. She offered to print and draw new eyes. So these eyes are one of a kind. They were drawn by Camilla. I think she did an amazing job. They look really nice. And I actually prefer them to the original eyes. They just have such a unique touch to them. I really like the way the light reflects off of them. So yeah, very nice. She came with her original stand as well as her um, winding key. I took that out of the box. I added the ties that were in them to the bag of ties they sent me. Um, I also freed her collector's card. It's in very nice condition. I love having these. I only have one doll that didn't come with a collector's card. And I believe it is my custom pull-up, obviously, because why would a custom pull-up have a collector's card? All of my dolls have them. Um, I think the only one I didn't get the collector card from might be my collector's Naoko. Not that you guys even know what I'm talking about, because most of you are here for Monster High or Rainbow High, so this video is not going to be a hit with you guys. I would also really like to show off Karaki Show's box. You can see this gorgeous picture of her up there. That's how mine will look once I get her eye patch situation sorted out. This doll originally had a type 3 pullet body, which I do have one that I'm able to show you guys. I have several type 3 pullets actually. Her box is gorgeous. I'm really glad that it was included. The anime is called Rose and Maiden, specifically the trauma end version. And this was when June Planning was still in charge of creating pullet. Uh, the brand eventually got bought out by Groove though. Um, originally this Karaki show came with a cute little bunny plushie because there was some rabbit that she hung out with in the anime. She wasn't really in Trauma End all that much. She made her, like, main debut to the anime world in Zurich Spulen, but um, in Trauma End, she was just kind of there at the end. I'm surprised they even made a doll of her. Though this doll was limited, unlike um, Bara Suisho, who is, like, her purple imposter form. She was a fake Rose and Maiden doll made by some dude. Just some guy. And... I don't know why I'm explaining the lore of the anime, but Karaki Show is the actual seventh doll because there's seven dolls, but she never has a physical body for some reason. So I don't know how she's the seventh doll when she doesn't have a doll body, but they made a doll of her because of course they did. And this one was actually limited to a thousand pieces worldwide. There's only a thousand of her in the world, which makes her kind of hard to get. This doll is stupidly expensive sometimes. So <laughs> I'm very grateful that I was able to get her for a decent price. I paid like 275 I think, which is still a lot of fucking money, but it's cheaper than what she usually goes for. People sell her, like, new in box for, like, $900, and it's absolutely insane. I don't have that kind of money, so 
275, having her repaired by my friend. There we go. Not just any friend. My best friend. Yeah, I only let my best friend make fun of me. If any of you guys ever talk to me like that, I swear to God, I'll bite your head off. I'm kidding. I'm being sarcastic. I'll just, I don't know. What would I do if one of you guys was mean to me? Am I, I'm allowed to be mean back, right? That's like called a clap back, right? Like Thanksgiving clack backs. Clack. Click clack moo. All in all, this doll's been on quite the journey. She went from fucking Japan to New York to Ecuador, and now she's here with me in Florida. That's right, I live in Florida. It's hot here all the time. Thrifting outside is miserable, but I still do it. This doll is amazing. I absolutely love her. Karaki Show has always been one of my all-time favorite characters from any anime. So finally having this doll of her, especially when I had a chance to get her for 350 like a couple years ago, but I squandered it to get the twins instead, who their prices haven't changed. They're still really cheap. I could have gotten them literally any time. But my mom was like, oh, you shouldn't spend 350 on one doll, and she spent 400 on the Tokidoki Barbie. All in all, she's gorgeous. I love her. I'm so glad to finally have her. And thank you to my bestest friend in the world, Camilla, for fixing her for me. Fun fact about Camilla and I, we've known each other for five years. That's as long as I've known my girlfriend, who is also our friend. That's right, we're a friend group. Camilla's also, like, one year young, like, older than this doll, two years older than this doll. I think it's two. I don't remember how old this doll is. She came out in 2007, though, so. Very, very old doll. <laughs> I love her. I'm very glad to have her in such good condition now. And I look forward to taking the necessary steps to finish fixing her myself, because I need to fix her eye patch. All in all, that's all this video was. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!